What's up, family? Marcus here with the Puka Minute. I hope you're all having a fabulous Tuesday. I had another great day of PowerPoint presentations, so I'm excited to be out of my workplace. It will be just one more day of PowerPoints, and I will be finally a police officer. So, anyway, I want to skip anything about Puka Trade as far as incoming, outgoing, and what was in the mail mainly because I have not had time to look, so I could have a lot of stuff coming and I could have nothing coming, I don't know. But what I want to do is take a moment to apologize for my, well, my explosive emotions yesterday in episode, I think, 29, which would make today episode 30. Basically, I was listening to some MTG community members, some leaders... Uh, talking about Puka Trade in an unfair way. They were saying things like they never get cards, this, that, and the other. Now, I want to reiterate that it is disappointing to hear that, but I should also mention that maybe some people do really have issues getting cards. Well, not maybe, but it's true. A lot of people are sounding off saying that they've had cards on their want list for a very long time and they're not getting fulfilled. I understand your worries, but I also think people should understand that you're going to get what you give. And no, I'm not talking if you send out a Snapcaster made, you're going to get one. What I'm saying is, is if you put a lot of time and effort into Puka Trade, you will have a lot higher chance of getting what you need back and in return. For example, if you put time and patience and effort into your... Puka Trade name and profile and um, want list and have list and trading, then I believe, no, I don't believe, I know for a fact that you are going to do much better in the Puka Trade community, in the Puka, Puka Trade lifestyle. So I really want you guys to understand that when I get upset because I hear people say negative things, like they're buy that 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 they could buy puka points at forty cents per one hundred puka points. I think that is bogus. Let me put it this way: if you know anyone that is selling puka points that cheap, you give me their information and I will buy all they've got because that is not what the puka trade economy is going to be left at. It is going to be much higher than that. If it's if it's that low now or ever, I would be very surprised. So, yes, if that is a true statement, then let me know what their information is because I would totally buy everything they got. Also, let's pick a winner for yesterday's, well, yesterday's episode or rant. It was more of a rant than an episode. The winner is this amazing individual... So happy that you have won. We are still less than 100 uh, subscribers, so make sure you spread the word. Uh, really important that you guys hit that thumbs up button because it gives us more of a chance to get recognition so others can see our content. Because obviously YouTube is very populated and it is almost impossible to get new viewers. So help me out. If you haven't already clicked the subscribe button, do so now because if you're not a subscriber, you cannot win the staple of the month each month. And that is a Snapcaster Mage. So last month was a Fulminator Mage. This month it's a Snappy Snap from Snapcaster Mage Central. If you guys want him, make sure you hit that subscribe button. As I said earlier, hit the like button. I'm Marcus. I'm with the Puka Minute. And until tomorrow, after my eight hours of PowerPoint presentations, I am out. Peace.